What's going on guys, welcome back to the Vision District, it's me Danny, and uh, today as you can see on the video title, we're breaking down Spain, I'm not going to bullshit because I haven't much time this one, my dad joined very very late, and uh, it's still quite a good scoreline, so I decided to bring it to you anyway, so, first of all, Casillas, uh, he used to be the best goalkeeper in the world in my opinion, he still is, but, well, he was in my opinion, after after last night, it would have been last night, my time, depending on when this went up, uh, it wouldn't have been last night, it would have been, would have been a few nights ago or even a few weeks ago. But Casillas against Netherlands just was not at, at his best. It was very, very painful and it was sad to watch because he was at one stage my favourite goalkeeper of all time. Uh, very, very disappointing and it's unfortunate that he didn't do as well as he should be. But we all have our bad days, so it was just one. Um, next person to watch is PK. Always happen every time. Every time. Uh, yeah, PK. You see, he was injured, and uh, there was speculation about him not being able to play in the World Cup. He wasn't supposed to be going, but thankfully for Spain, uh, well, there might be asking a few questions now, but thankfully, but he did end up being able to play. Now, unfortunately, he wasn't able to prevent five of the Netherlands goals, five goals that Netherlands scored. So. That's unfortunate for him, but hopefully he can pick himself back up and just get back out there and start playing the way every Barcelona play, every Barcelona fan knows he can play. You know, I, I hope that he can find it in him to, to to play well again. Um, then there's Xavi. Uh, I don't know. I I don't know what to say about him. He's, Easily replaceable, I think, and that, that's just me. You know, don't don't hate or discriminate against me for saying that. But I think he's easily replaced. Silva, um, he's he's okay. He's not bad. Um, I mean, he could have done a lot better. Could have done a lot better against the Netherlands. I seen most of the match. And then after half time, I I left the room because it was one one. I wanted Spain to win, so uh, Van Persie's header kind of. Just hard. But um, I'm gonna go into the substitutions. I'm not breaking down this team fully because there's not much to talk about, and it's, it's just disappointing what happened. And uh, honestly, I think the goalkeeper, the lineup for Spain in the next match should be uh, De Gea, the the regular four defenders: Chez, Ramos, Piquet, Jordi Alba, and then in midfield I would have Cesc Fabregas. Santi Cazorla, Mata, and Pedro, and then up front, the two I would have up front would be, I'd have Davavia, and, no, Davavia and Fernando Torres, because the two lads that were up front on yesterday would have been my time, so, on the 13th, Friday the 13th, they, they just weren't there. It was like it was like the team showed up, but the players didn't want it. They didn't want to be there. It was as if what it, it wasn't actually like that. Actually, if I'm 100% honest, what it really was was the players showed up and the heat got to them. And it just destroyed them. That that's basically what it was in the Netherlands. They were able to keep. They they kept going. Uh, they probably using some of that Lucas A Sports stuff. You know, to keep them going. Apparently, in the in the advertisement, it says it keeps you going. So maybe it works. But um, all I know is that they were probably drinking more more Ribena than Spain were. So therefore, I think Spain really downfall and everything because of the fact that they just they were too soft. But um, that's the end of the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed my Spanish break, you know, Spanish team breakdown. If you did, there's a score by the way, twenty three to six. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like because it always helps. And uh, subscribe to my, subscribe, subscribe to the channel for more content and uh, more team breakdowns. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys for the next video.